Hello, hello, hello. My name is Justin Anderson. I'm a recent mechanical engineering graduate. And this channel I'm making today is revolving around personal finance and kind of understanding and learning financial literacy. My goal here is to kind of express my knowledge and my development while going through investing and understanding money and personal finance. Disclaimer, I am not a financial professional. This is in, in no way uh, a suggestion for what you should do. This is all for enjoyment purposes only. I enjoy talking about finance. I enjoy talking about the stock market, real estate, and other ways to just kind of make money and maximize revenue. My first resource and kind of understanding into the financial realm uh, and especially personal finance first came from my grandpa. Uh, he was the first person to kind of help me understand, you know, the value of a dollar, compound interest, and just really understanding the stock market and stepping stones over the years. He never pushed anything on me, but kind of just allowed me to learn at my own pace, but he was always there to help. He was always there to give a second opinion on something that I was learning about. Me being 23 years old right now, almost 24, I wasn't getting into this stuff when I was, you know, five. I wasn't like going out and learning this stuff when I was, you know, very young. This all kind of started, this all really started much later. I started getting into this more in about 2018, late 2018, being about 20 years old. I was like, okay, I have a little bit of extra cash. What should I be doing with it? How can I maximize my return on this money rather than just it just sitting in a bank, right? So what I did first was I, I decided, okay, I'm still in college, but I need to start learning about finance. I'm not majoring in finance. That's not what I'm looking to do with my life, but I wanna learn, I wanna understand so I can actually grow something that makes sense. My first step was just reading some books, finding articles, kind of playing around. What I first did was I opened a Robinhood account and put just $100 in there. And then I would slowly increase that, actually false. The first thing I did was I opened this stash account I think it was stash where I could kind of broadly invest things into like ideas almost. I, I don't remember exactly what that, that app was, but then I got in, I got into more. I read the first like real uh, finance book I read for enjoyment was Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kawasaki. Great book. Uh, I definitely encourage anybody that wants to learn and wants to kind of take that first step to go pick up this book, read it. It took me, I, w I was reading it while I was at work, but you know, just go read it. It took a couple days, it couple, took a couple weeks. I think I've read it twice now. I plan on reading it again, just because I pick up on things every time I open the book. Another one that I really wanna, wanna thank was my mom for kind of showing me the steps behind budgeting and you know, living under our means because growing up we didn't have a lot of money so money was tight there was always that kind of financial stress on them and i saw that at a young age and i don't want to live with that in my future i want to figure out how to take that next step so i'm not you know struggling with money my entire life what i want to be doing is i'm going to be sharing my journey through the stock market through real estate investing, what I've learned, how I'm, how I'm looking at things. And I really just want to be able to express that and hopefully teach somebody else, teach somebody, you know, that's watching these videos, what I am, what I'm doing and how I'm kind of expressing myself through, you know, growing financially. I'm not going to be focusing on any one portion of personal finance. I'm going to go into a few different, whether that be, you know, the stock market, real estate, what I eat, um, you know, just all the kind of things that really revolve around what I spend money on in a day, what I spend money on in a month, what I spend money on per year. Um, I, 
I don't have a job right now, so money is very scarce, but I have to live within my means to the best part possible. And I wanna, I wanna show that growth that I have over these, in these videos and show, you know, the kind of things that I've, I've learned and understand and what's progressing me to get to those next levels. But hey, that's all for today. If you like what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, drop a like down below, and let's, let's keep it going.